Hey guys, this is my electric kit and it's almost complete and ready to go, ready to hook up. Now I'm going to show you how to get to this point because obviously I'm not going to start from here. But basically, the box arrived with all the kit in it and I started with the VSR or voltage sensing relay. Now on here, there are two cables. There's a short one that goes to the positive terminal and a long one which I've fed through the uh, cab. And I'm sure I'll show you how to do that bit first. So the voltage sensing relay, that longer cable, I disconnected from the inside of the box here and I started in the engine bay. What I did was this rubber grommet that is located, so from here at the back there, much easier to see from here, I, uh, I made a little incision and I fed the cable through that way and that came through the back end of the passenger cup holder area. Now what I'll do is I'll remove this and I'll show you how to do it so you can do it as well. What you're going to need for the next couple of jobs are a flathead screwdriver, I've covered the end in tape just to sort of save scratching up the black, the black plastic too much. You're going to need a T25 hex. I have got one that attaches to my little micro Bosch drill. So first thing to do is take your flathead and you're just going to gently pry your cup holder out and then under there, down in there, you can see that's the first of the, uh, the uh, hex screws to undo. The uh, next thing to do is to grab the inside of this bit and pull it out at the top then go underneath and clip it out. They just pull, they're just like push clips. And then you have access to this area and you'll see there's another hex just here. Keep those two in your cup holder. This bit, if you go from down here, just pull away. It's a little stiff but it just comes off. So now that that's removed if you go down to there and look at the back there you'll see the cable coming through uh, right the end of my fingertip that is running all the way down here and it will go under here to the box. So with this still removed all I did was I sort of peeled this back and ran the cable down so you can see it goes down there with your flathead screwdriver, find a portion of the trim that you can get under, peel it up and away, and you should be able to see my cable that I've ran through. What I did is I, I wrapped it round, round here, and then I got the other end and I started feeding it through, and I, I pulled it from the other side of the box. And then once that's all done, push it down, clip it down and uh, job done. Right, so to get everything back on, you take the uh, side bit trim again. It has two toggles, one here and one here, and there's a hole up here and down there, and where they go. You line those up, it's going to make your life a lot quicker and easier. So now, just apply the first hex screw again. Done. So next what you're going to do is do the uh, outer bit of the uh, drinks holder and this one also has a toggle which is this bit and that will slot into over that bit so you want to attack it sort of from above and get it in position and then it should very easily clip all in place. Next thing to do is do this little screw in here and I suggest that if you get the uh, Hex screw in place and just tighten it, finger tighten it a little bit so that it's just stuck there. Then screw it in because otherwise you're going to end up dropping it down into there, which I did before, and then you have to take this all off again, start the process again. Last but not least, cut hold it in and you're done. Right now that little first job's out of the way, what I do, I'm going to take all of this out and I'm going to show you how it's all wired together. Right guys, here's my electric board. So what it is, is a piece of 12mm ply cut to 22cm in height 
by 60 centimeters in length and that attach to um, the piece of uh, timber that I will show you in a second. Now what I did is I laid it out like this so that um, it's got spacing between everything but this is just I know this is just how it worked out for me and how the cables all sat and everything. The everything seemed to screw down fine except for the power charger that doesn't have any screw down points so I had to zip tie that in place by drilling two holes either side, one there, one there, putting a series of zip ties around and uh, well zip tying it down. The VSR is is mounted to there on top. Now it's not the best place. I would have preferred to have mounted somewhere differently, but I'm just trying to. Um, I'm a bit limited on space, and then we think of the size of the leisure battery. What I did with the leisure battery is I cut out a piece of 12mm ply again. So nice and thick, nice and strong, and that is five centimeters larger on all sides than the battery and then I cut out the hole of the battery on the inside and slipped it up and now this this uh, board connects to the, the timber bit piece here so both these parts connect together and keep it underneath the seat without it sliding out and sliding around so this looks like a bit of a mess I know but it looks neat when it's in the underneath the seat and I'll explain I'll go through each each component as to where the wires go. So as you can see, this wire, the long wire, okay, I really apologize for all the mess under there, but I need to hoover it out. So that wire is the one that comes from the engine bay, and that comes up to the VSR here. And then the other thick shorter cable goes onto the positive terminal that will attach to the battery. And then out the other side is this little tiny cable and that goes to the negative terminal of the battery. So that's the VSR done. My inverter, there are two cables, a red and a black one. And I think you can see where this is going here. They go to either both the positive and the negative terminals. That's the inverter done. Now the power charger, which is this black box, that has a big thick cable that comes out. And at the end of it comes a brown and a red cable. They yet again go to the positive terminal that goes to the battery and the negative terminal of the battery. Right, so now I've got my fuse board. Now there are two, there's three, sorry, three large blue cables that come out of this. Two that come out the top and then there's one that comes out the bottom and this uh, earth wire that comes out the bottom. So the two that come out the top, I've got one that goes all the way to the back and then I've got this bottom one that also goes all the way to the back. Now in the kit they came labelled so one of them is the inlet socket where you can plug it in and it's got those three pins in the bottom in the back of it and it plugs in at campsites, keeps your battery topped up. The other one goes to the double socket where I can plug my appliances into. The other smaller cable that comes out the top and that goes into the back of this plug and this wires up to this socket. And this plug comes out and that actually plugs into the bottom of the power charger. Last but not least you have this, the earth cable, and that runs all the way to my grounding point that I put here. Now it's one of the bolts I had on the back here that held down part of the bulkhead. And what I've done is I've taken one of the bolts that was already there and before I put all these down I just simply um, I sanded off the paint so it's um, like raw metal and um, screwed all these guys down so they should be earthing quite well to that point. Also in the kit you get the um, sort of control panel. Now on the back of that is a bunch of leads that powers everything so you can switch everything you want on and off from here, like lights, fridge, everything you need. Now, what I did was I looped, I put the cables in and I put them through the frame all the way to the back there, and you can see them coming out behind the fly in the corner there. From behind the behind the driver's seat, they're coming out in the bottom corner there. I've just got them running down here. Now you have loads of different coloured sort of uh, like looms. One of them's for the lights, so I've uh, actually gone up the channel here and I come along here and I've just left those there for now until I get the um, ply onto the roof. Right, so what I do is I have two that come to the leisure battery. One is a purple and brown one that goes to the TV 
Now that's actually going to go up above our heads here, um, so this doesn't really need to be worried about. This one here is a combination of a brown, red, blue and sort of like a, a very grey pink cable and you'll have the ends and that will plug into the terminals here. There's four uh, fuses, there's three 10 amps and one 15 amp. So you've got the blue, grey, pink, the red and finally there's one more in there and that's the brown and that it says it has the earth stick on it. You just put that straight to your earthing point again. Now the 15 amp fuse, the one left, there'll be another spare cable and that will have that will have fridge ring on it and that is just on its own and you plug the white end into the 15 amp fuse and like usual the brown one has earth written on it and you take it to your earthing point so i've cracked my um electrics board with everything mounted back into the seat now what i'll try and do is i'll try and show so this is like a bird's eye view of the seat and what i've done is i've taken some two inch by two inch um timber so from the back you can see the two inch ply against the um the wood board and just behind there is where the inverter is the cables are now sort of more organized so I've got the two terminals for the battery and I've got my earth points down there so now the battery can't move and um, it still looks a bit messy but that's because I can't connect the terminals up just yet um, I'm going to find, once it's all in place, I'm going to find a mounting point for my fuse board and then properly mount down my VSR. Um, but that is pretty much it. 